been searching for Merlin. Yes, sir. Yes, that's right. Thank you. That was Inspector Sabanya. Mission accomplished. It looks as though the ring's been broken. He took quite a few prisoners, but unfortunately none of them were important enough to know which oil rigs have been fitted with dynamite charges. And my daughter? There was no sign of her. I suppose that they've moved her and Merlin. All right, hold on. Hey, excuse me, sir. Somebody's cut into our wavelength. They want to talk to you. All right, you're patched in. You foolishly disobeyed my instructions despite my warnings. Therefore, I am at this moment setting the dynamite charges to explode at 12 o'clock sharp. Since I am the only one who can control the remote switches, I will be brief and to the point. Mr. Remington, if you do not meet my demands this time, I fully intend to allow your daughter to die. She is in the demolition area at this moment. <laughs> What are you going to do with me? Never mind, you'll find out soon enough. I am having your daughter tied underwater to one of the oil rigs, Mr. Remington. Over the side. No! I said over the side. Your daughter's fate is in your hands, Remington. The automatic timer is counting her last moments. It's your move. already waited long enough. Get that plane now. We haven't been able to find Merlin, Inspector. Go on looking. the sand out of that car. Trust me. I'm positive Jeff's in there. Hey, Sergeant. Have that car unloaded. That one? Yes. Come on. Hey there. Empty out the sand. You ready? Shoulders. Okay. That's easy. Yeah. Watch yourself. Easy now. Hey, they found Merlin. He's still alive, I think. Hey, get the doctor quick. They found Merlin in the railroad car. Get that doctor over here. Yeah. This is what saved him. Stand aside, please. His oxygen. Get a jeep. Have them hurry. Hello, Medusa. Do you read me? I'm at relay station number two. Everything is in working order. We have radio contact with Remington. If he comes through with the money, you can cut off the automatic timer right there on the boat. If he doesn't, then just leave it in the on position. I'll see you on board in about 20 or 30 minutes.
You're jumpy today. I only wanted to say hello. My compliments, Dr. Nielsen. You were right. A double agent was working here. Somebody we know. I didn't suspect you, really, until you dredged up that old trick you tried to play. My trick? To suggest there was a traitor the way you did seemed a bit... a bit too cool to me. You are clever, I'll say that. Shepperton, it's really too bad. My friends are expecting me soon, and if I'm not on board in the next 30 minutes... We're wasting time. I want to see a relay station. Relay station? Oh. Well, if you insist, do you like to walk? How far is it? There, at the top. I happen to like long walks. Get out. Both hands out. Go on. shot you are, Shepperton. Quit the business. You're a real public menace. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. to get some rest, darling. They'll kill the girl. And I didn't stop. But you did everything you could. It's bad enough. So don't tamper me. Hey! Hold it! Hey there! That's Shepardin's car. Let's go see. the name of the yacht.
Oh, Merlin. You're always so full of surprises. Where did you come from this time? The water. Ah, and was there no one here to greet you? One too many. Ah, uh, I suppose you might as well stay a while. Just till I find young Ellen Remington. If I find her, I'll forego your invitation. This is number three. A government plane with 10 million aboard is ready for us at the military airport. Make sure that the plane and pilot are ready to go. I'll give you further instructions later. Keep the airfield under surveillance. Ah, so you're the one in charge, the famous mysterious voice. Sorry, Merlin. In a few minutes, I'll have all the money I'll ever need. And Mr. Remington will have his daughter. However, Dr. Nielsen has a consolation prize for you. I don't think I could accept it. You won't have a great deal of choice. Stop or I'll set off the demolition charges. All I do is press these buttons and it's over. If you try acting reasonably for once, it could save trouble. Once my pilot takes over the plane with the money, I'll press the set of buttons that will turn off the automatic timer. Then there will be no explosion and Miss Remington will be safe. After all, isn't that what you want? All right, Niels, pick up that gun and try not to bungle again. <clears throat> well, what are you waiting for? Aren't you capable of carrying out one simple order, Niels? No. In fact, my days of carrying out your orders have been relegated to the dim past. I'm getting rid of you. What? You're mad. You... You're acting stupidly. Follow your orders. I do believe I've followed enough already. And stay right where you are, Mr. Bartlett. Now look. You mustn't do anything foolish. And anyway, we're... We're good for each other. Right? <laughs> secret, Merlin. The Remington girl is number 12. Which one? 12 red or 12 black? Which color shuts uh, off the automatic timer? You've been lucky so far. You'll have to guess which color. And see if your luck holds up. <coughs> Police, come in. Hurry. It's Merlin on board the Medusa. This is police headquarters. We read you loud and clear. Go ahead, Marlin. Now listen, I don't have much time. The oil rigs charged for demolition are the following. Numbers 415, 370, 1002, 12, and 1620. Now listen. Send a helicopter right away. The Remington girl's tied to a rig. I'll need some scuba equipment. I'll try to get the girl out. But there isn't much time left to do it. Come with me. I figure about 35 minutes. So concentrate the divers on the five oil rigs and get that copter out here.
charges have been dismantled. And the fifth... Headquarters, this is D3. D3. I'm over rig 12. Mr. Merlin hasn't come up. Attention all helicopters flying over the bay. Six minutes till the scheduled explosion. Evacuate the danger area. I can see the girl and Mr. Merlin. I dropped them a light book. I have no way of getting them on board. They'll have to try to get out of the danger area on their own. I think we can leave Mr. Remington and his daughter to themselves. They don't need me anymore. Who cares about them? I need you, darling. Ellen. Ellen. Look out! <laughs> I think you're mad. At least there aren't any dull moments with you. Okay. 